Well, last week, we brought you an in-depth report about black farmers' complaints of racism and a history of discriminatory practices in the agriculture industry. This week, we're focusing on the future of black farming. ABC Action News in-depth reporter Anthony Hill spoke with young black farmers in the Bay Area. He found out why they decided to get into agriculture. Over the past 100 years, we've seen a 74% decrease in black farmers in Florida. And black farmers have long complained of institutional racism within the agricultural industry. Well, that's not stopping the next generation of black farmers from learning the trade. In fact, some agricultural experts tell me we're seeing quite the resurgence in black farmers. I spoke with one farmer who's originally from Philadelphia, but decided to trade the hustle and bustle of the big city with a farm in Citrus County. I feel better farming, and I feel more like I'm accomplishing something working on this farm than I did knocking doors, even though knocking doors and being a door-to-door -door salesman paid for this farm. He says farming isn't easy, but it's worth it. He plans to eventually sell his produce. Tonight on ABC Action News, I'm digging deeper to uncover what's being done to help these new farmers excel. Plus, I'll tell you about a local organization and a university that's producing the next generation of black agro entrepreneurs. In Tampa, I'm in depth reporter Anthony Hill. ABC Action News.